Hey guys, so this is going to be a review of this week's Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. So if you have not seen it, I suggest you wait a while to watch this because this is going to involve spoilers and they are going to start now. Also, if you have not seen Captain America The Winter Soldier, um, you might want to hold off on maybe watching this episode until you've seen it because, yeah, you might find out spoilers about The Winter Soldier because... This was a crossover episode, and it was a crossover between the Winter Soldier. So there are a lot of spoilers from the Winter Soldier that are in this. So that's another warning. <laughs> so now it starts the actual spoilers. So a lot's happening. Shield's pretty much not really here right now because Shield's just under attack from Hydra, obviously, and it's it's not good. Luckily, Fury, who is alive, contrary to what they tell you, he is alive. Obviously, if you've seen Captain America, you know Fury is alive, and at the end, you find out Fury still is alive, obviously. If you've seen Captain America, you know Fury's, Fury survived. He was just faking, and he still is just faking into this week's crossover episode. So Hydra ended up breaking Reyna and Quinn both out of their respective jails. Raina was just, I don't know what Raina's jail was, but Quinn's was the fridge and they ended up breaking into the fridge and taking a lot of different things, including the staff from earlier this season and a few other things. And they got the Gravitonium that Dr. Hall was working with or in or both. Uh, and that is now... Quinn's gift, so to speak, gift, but Raina's out, and this may be not a good thing, but I kind of like Raina. I don't know what it is, but I like Raina. I feel like Raina isn't evil, or I feel like she's, she's evil right now, but I feel like she could easily be taken over to the good side if the good guys wave something in front of her face, because I feel like she would just go where she had a want for like if she wanted this and the good guys had it she would go over there and i don't know i just like reyna i don't know why but i like reyna i don't understand but i do we also saw that garrett has a um probably a cyber tech piece on his left rib which is interesting because we know peterson pretty much has that we haven't seen peterson in a couple episodes have we Peterson's still alive, right? Yeah. I think he's still alive. He should still be alive. Maybe. I'm not sure. No, he's still alive. Uh, either way, he has a cyber tech on him, so I kind of want to know what that's about. Uh, hopefully that's going to be told to us soon, because I'm kind of dying to know. I'm still pissed Garrett's evil. <laughs> I really, really liked Garrett, and him being evil, it's not cool. I don't like it. Ward, I knew Ward was evil. I haven't liked him since the beginning. I haven't trusted him and I, nothing, I don't care. However, I'm pissed he's gonna kill Skye because I do like Skye and uh, it looks like he's gonna kill her and that's going to suck. And of course with the main team, we saw them reach Providence where they met, I believe his name is Eric, who is in charge of Providence, which is a little facility that wasn't on the maps, but it's on Fury's maps, obviously. And Eric told Coulson, and only Coulson, though I assume Coulson will probably tell the rest of the team that Fury is alive. And unfortunately, Sky told Ward where Providence is, and he is now there, which sucks because you know the whole killing thing, and he's, you know evil with Hydra. Not cool. And I think that was pretty much it on S.H.I.E.L.D. tonight. That was the main stuff. Also tell me your thoughts on this week's episode and thanks for watching.